and welcome back to The Witcher 2 with me, Holo. We are in a bit of a pickle here. Okay, so there's an army and a second army, the Royal Army and the Ragtag Army. We've just joined up with the Ragtag, Ragtag Army as the Royal Army broke parlay um, and have caused some sort of curse somehow. I don't understand how that's happened or really what's protecting us, but it would seem that Owl has just been taken down and there is wraiths. Ah, a wraith is channeling and CCing the uh, owl, and I need to take down the rail, the wraiths, to bring back the shield. Got it. Okay, that's one down. Kill all the wraiths. Kill all the wraiths. That's the big guy. You okay? All right, cool. Land the stun. Land the power attacks. That's it. Just like that. It's a big guy. Got to do power attacks to really dent his armor. And stuns keep you behind him for a while. Let's land another stun before he can hit me. And, uh, oh shit, all right, get behind him and power attack. There we go. A couple more of those, he should be down. One more, one more. That's it. There we go, down he goes. Here's another wraith right here, and another one. I don't know where they are. There it is. It keeps teleporting, that's why. And we freed the owl, good. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Keep the stun off. Okay, everyone seems to be good for now. We're still okay. I don't need to worry too much about these bastards, but I don't really want to leave the shield. Like, in a war zone like this, there's so many corpses to come and be res. That's the problem. It's dangerous. Oh man, what a way to just like start an episode in the first two minutes. Oh shit, okay, yeah, the shield's gonna protect the people. Let's help them, let's help them. Come on, bring the shield in. Get in the shield. Get in the shield, guys. We're going to lose, like, all our armor if we're, army if we're not careful. And they're inside their city, so they're safe. The other, ar the other army. Shit. We're probably, like, fucked. Get out of the... Get away from the wall, you bastards. They're not very smart, these wraith things. They're walking right into the shield. Maybe they can't tell if it's there. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Stay by the owl. Stay by the owl. That fucking prince just being a little bitch. I can't believe you lost the duel against a, such a weak opponent. I say we fuck... We ignore the, um... Big guy. And we just kill the wraiths. Because if the wraiths are dead, then the big guy just gets teleported away. The wraiths keep teleporting. That's the problem. So, I need to do power attacks. Like, so... Alright, where's the next wraith? Here he is. Fuck, it teleported. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Killed. Nice, and it's back. Kills the big guy. Sweet. Perfect. We don't need to worry about anything else. Don't have to kill the big guy. You just kill the race. Cool. Work that out. Oh, boy. <laughs> what the hell, man? I'd like to point out that I've not actually got this far in the game. 100%. I've never got this far in the game. So I have no idea what's going on, what's going to happen anymore. Like, it's all new to me now at last, and I'm very happy about it. But what a thing to have happen. Like, maybe if I chose differently Shit, with the dialogues, I could have avoided that happening, but I don't know. Shit, the, the circle's getting smaller and less powerful. The, the owl must be getting tired or something. Who's actually controlling it, though? Like, who is causing it to even exist? Oh, fuck. That's one wraith. Fairly dealt with. Another one's pretty hurt. Right, that's one down. Where's the next one? There, 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 right here. That's another one dead. And back. Sweet. Done. Oh, pressure's off. Pressure's off. How much further must we go? How far did you have to walk to get to that parlay? The camp is just wrecked. If this was our camp, it's all on fire and shit. It's just a war zone broke out. I'm actually quite hurt. I didn't even notice that. Look at my health. That's not good. These zombies do quite a lot of damage. Alright, good. We're nearly we're nearly away. Where did you come from? Oh look at that, I'm all blinded and shit. Oh look, the prince is fine. Oh, it was you! You're the spellcaster. You're very powerful. Surprisingly. 
Oh no, <laughs> no it wasn't, okay, fine. I hate flying through fog. Saskia, are you all right? It's just a flesh wound. You and the Witcher, we owe you our lives. I'm here to protect you. And you, Witcher? I'm after a Kingslayer who kidnapped Triss Marigold. And brought her here? Is this an interrogation? There are warrants on your head in Tamaria, Kedwin, and Redania. And I'm responsible for Saskia's safety. That's enough, Philippa. You told me yourself you thought him innocent. Saskia, folk are riled. First the sun went out, then the squirrels arrived. Now this fog. It's too much for the common folk. True. Summon all the commanders to the meeting hall. Yorveth, give me some time. I must prepare them for your arrival. Witcher, Philippa, you must be there too. I wish to hear what we can expect from this anomaly and how we might be rid of it. Worry not, Yarpin. The legendary White Wolf and the equally famous Philippa Eilhart should have a remedy for several hundred rabid wraiths. I'd hope so. I really hope so. Like, this shit hit the fan very quickly in this situation, and your army's in danger, so... That was, like, very lucky for the opposing side, wasn't it? To activate a curse on the enemy army. I want to see all commanders in the council army. chamber. Philippa, that includes you and the Witcher. Cecil, the gates are to remain shut until we're done. You'll answer with your beard if they open for any reason. I love how the dwarves' most prized thing is their beard. Welcome to Vergen, Witcher. I'm Cecil Burden, the alderman. Geralt of Rivia. We've got a spare room at the inn. It's not much, but uh, at least you'll have a roof over your head and a solid bed neath your arse. Thanks. Beautiful. I could use that. Scalen, show Master Geralt to his quarters, and visit Reverend Alkin's chambers on your way back to inform everyone that uh, he has departed. That is, that he died a hero, slain by the invaders. Exactly. You see, Master Witcher? He's young but clever. We'll make a real dwarf out of him yet. Huh. <laughs> I like that guy. Alright, Scallon. Lead the way. Whoops. Follow Scallon and then go to the War Council. Well, welcome to the next town and the next area, I guess. I guess this might be where we sort of quest and hang out for a little bit, but... It's kind of like a, a beautiful dwarven town. I really like the style of it. I really... I'm looking forward to having a look around. Is this the inn, then? This is what the inn looks like. Let me get a better look at that. All right, down this ramp. Okay, got it. Let's go, Skellen. Skellen. Ah, look at this. This Another is an inn. One. You let one human in, and in no time, you've got a swarm. <laughs> All right, Dwarfy boy. Oh, how dare you? Human women need only sit astride a man's pants for their bellies to puff up. We got a fight club going on. Cool. I'll go check that out later, I'm sure. Hey, what are you doing? You're running. Do all dwarfs run upstairs? Is that a thing that I just don't know? Where's my room? Is this red door my room? What are you fucking doing, mate? What? what? Goddamn AI. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Don't make my room a complex one, alright? Alright, it's the end of the hallway. Got it. This shall be your chamber, Witcher. They say Selkirk of Gullet himself slept in this bed before battle. Didn't bring him any luck, but at least he was well rested before he died. Need anything else? Thanks, Skaven. Geralt, right? My uncles told me a lot about you. Nice work with those spectres. And Saskia! Well, I wager the gods didn't think you could save her. Your uncle? Cecil, I help him out here and there managing Vergen. Scalen Burden's my name. Nice to meet you. Wanna arm wrestle? What kind of a question is that? <laughs> you tell me about Cecil, your uncle. Is Cecil your guardian? Aye. Ever since my parents passed on. They took me in, fed me, taught me a profession and how to live, really. Good man. How did your parents die? During one of the massacres Demavend arranged for us. But I'd rather not talk in that. Sure. Sorry. Are you going to fight in the battle, or is that not something that you do? 
What'll you do when the battle rolls around? I'll be right out front fighting. Uncle Cecil's allowed it. Says I'm an adult. I'm going to kick some kid when he arse. I like the sound of that. Of what? My uncle believes I can do it. And Yarpin taught me how to swing an axe with follow through. I'll smash a few heads. Then go to the tavern and drink till I drop. Interesting. Cecil will be proud. Well, he will. Anything can happen at war. Watch out for yourself. If I could give him... Do you think that what this is going to do is maybe give him, like, some wards or something? I want him to be careful. I don't want him to die, so I'm going to try to do this. Battles are unpredictable, and this will be your first. You'll have to kill, wade through piles of bloody corpses, all the while watching you don't get cut down yourself. Sure you're ready for this? Ah, to tell the truth, I'm shitting myself a bit. Straw dummies. That's all I've swung at so far. When I think on what's going to happen here. But, all for one and one for all, right? Just don't tell my uncle, please. He's thrashed me a few times already for talk like that. I won't say a word. You have to be careful with what you do, man. Look out for yourself. But in the meantime, let's have a friendly hey, arm wrestle. Want to arm wrestle? I really like to wrestle, but... Uh... It's not the contest of the century. I just want to test you. Steady on! I've got conditions. First, you have to beat Yarpen and Sheldon. Who? Show me what you're made of. I'm at the top of the pile. So you'll need to defeat the others first. Who should I challenge? Those chumps. Yarpen Zigrin and Sheldon Skaggs. Okay, I'll look for them. <laughs> Some sort of strange arm wrestle fight going on. What's in the chest? Store, okay, right, that's actually my stuff. Damn, I can't steal my own stuff. Alright, well... Let's go have a walk around. Um, we have a war council to attend. Uh, I guess we'll just um, challenge some guys to some arm wrestle, you know, just chill out, have some fun. And again, I, I want to sort of see the town, get the lay of the land of the town a little bit. All right, fine. There's not really much for me to check in there. All right, so we'll just go see what's around the place and uh, maybe get some arm wrestles going. I'm not going to go do the fight club just yet. So, maybe we can find these dwarves to arm wrestle. And before you know it, the neighborhood's full he of travels the lands, killing monsters for coin. Why's he got those glistening eyes? Stop talking so about so me, so I'm right here. When he was young. Who are you? You look very suspicious, sir. What is this? Oh, you're just drunk. Hello. Hello. So, Vergen's grown a bit, eh? I think I'm not been. sure. I haven't really seen the town yet. Bob's... All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go explore the town. I, I'm really interested in to learn what this town is. Firstly, I need to learn where the blacksmith is because I actually have a schematic and the um, required things to make a stronger silver sword, and I would like that very much. Oh, you're a vendor. Hello, mysterious merchant. Let's trade. What have you actually got to sell? You got anything interesting? Uh, what I'm interested in is crafting diagrams. So diamond dust, oil. Robust cloth, studded leather, alright, nothing, nothing to of worth, just yet. I'll check you out later though, some dwarves there. Dude, I love dwarves, they're so good. They're just funny little men. <laughs> they're powerful though, I love their personalities. Harold. Oh. Huh? It's in here. An armory maybe? Ooh, lots of equipment to stake. Oh, actually, I can't actually take anything because, um, oh, I can take Orins. The problem is, uh, I'm actually really, as we know, pretty over-encumbered. I need to sell things, so I'll quickly go revisit that merchant and sell a bunch of crap off-camera. All right, so I've vended away, got rid of a lot of stuff, so now that I can actually pick up more stuff again, which is great. Maybe vendor more. So... Let's have a look at our map. Maybe we'll, that'll give us... Ah, there we go. That gives me a much better sort of understanding of the land. So, it looks like we have this marketplace around here and some other stuff around here. Let's, um... Yeah, let's go towards the marketplace. Don't try anything. Can I not actually get through these doors, though? Alright, fine. I guess maybe I need to climb the wall or go around. There we go. Yeah, look, the marketplace is right there and I want to go, like, check out the stores and 
see what everyone has to sell, but the big, huge doors there are closed. Perhaps it's the time of the day. I can't seem to get through anywhere else, so. Let's try down here. It's, just, it's an interesting place, though. Uh, just a big dwarven town built into, like, the wall. There goes the piece, eh? Squirrels, witches, an army led by a woman. The gods, who needs this? Get used to it. Lady Saskia will defeat Henselt and make Bergen her capital. We don't know that. But she could grant us market rights. You shit for brains, all of you. You'll sooner meet the axe than see market rights. People, get a hold of yourselves. Just pray we survive this war. Interesting. The humans that live here within the dwarves are still fairly racist. Hey? Strangers. More strangers. Aha, all the way up here we found something. You two look very suspicious, very ragged. Greetings, colleague. Hmm? I'm Ursu, rat catcher. Traps of all sorts, for mice and for trolls, at a special discount for witches. You can make me things as well, what can you make? Oh, could you make me the superb, or the really powerful weapon? No, it doesn't look like you can. You make, like, hardened stuff and uh, different kinds of armor in general. Right, you're like a leather worker, essentially, I see. And what do you have to sell? Is there anything interesting that you actually have? Lures, different crafting stuff, harpies, diagram for rage. Okay, it's like a trap. Yeah, lots of different traps and bombs and that kind of thing. You're like um, the handyman, I guess. Interesting. Maybe I'll have a, a word with you later. This is the castle of the Free Fathers. I assume this is sort of uh, the Dwarven Royal area, maybe? Because there was like a human sort of area. Let's try and avoid taking too much. To actually, just take all of it. It's fine. So it looks like there's a human area to the town. And it's actually interesting because in the town we were just in, the Flotsam Town, a town run by humans, it was sort of a... Um, oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> there's a segment of the town that was catered to non-humans, but it's sort of a slum and you're worse off there. Whereas here, there's sort of a catered segment to humans, but it's not, it's not a slum, but it's very sectioned off. Like, the majority is Dwarven. So it's interesting to compare the differences in the towns. Look at this. It's a very pretty town. It reminds me of that town in Skyrim. You know, the one that's uh, built into the side of a mountain. Has a Dwarven city eh? under it. That's a witcher, not a human. So, no snaps? Nope. Would you look at that, friends? Geralt of Revian. Coincidences do happen. Greetings. <laughs> you don't know me, but I know you. I'm an employee of the Vivaldus Bank, and I'm business here, and to check up on the local mine's profitability. Vivaldi doing all right? Full of beans. And as per the instructions given to each of the bank's agents, I hasten to inform you that you have unlimited credit. Really? Hmm. I could use a loan about now. Sure thing. However, my means are limited. I can offer you the standard short-term loan for those working in high-risk professions. Will that do you? Um... Vivaldi knows me. I'm sure Vivaldi wouldn't mind if I borrowed a bit more than that. It's nearly all I've got on me, but I'll manage somehow. How have I got so lucky with these roles, man? I'm, like, constantly winning these, like, persuasion roles and the... Uh, Hypnotist rolls. It's great. It's great. I'm enjoying it. You associate with sorceresses. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're on? just like afraid of things you don't understand, aren't you, mate? Even now, still racism. Uh, Dwarven hammer, an elven messer, elven sword. So, we Let's see what the these and quality and of weapons way. are. Twelve to fifteen. That's not bad. And. A bit of bleeding on it, but you know, just it's just weight. Obviously, I needed to check the stats on them, but nowhere near as good as my swords. Another big door that I can't open, it would seem. What's up here? Since oh, is that a forge? Hello. Has anyone here sell me? 
Aha! Ooh. It's not quite as good as my saw, but it looks so cool. Oh, look at that. It's like a saw blade. That's actually, that's actually really good. 17 to 25, 1928. That's not bad. Happy traps. Robust meteorite. Whoa. Robust. Look at that. I can't make it. I can nearly make it, though. I want that, yeah. Yeah, let's make that. I need to find someone who can make me that. I need some more silver ore. Can you sell me yours? Perfect. We should have enough silver ore to make that now, but who can actually craft me that? That's the question. What we need to do is find a, a forge. I thought this would be it. I can't make it myself, and I need to hire someone to do it, but this only trades, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't make anything. So I need to find someone who can make me something. Gone to another section of the town now, and I have found something else. Another person who will sell me something. Well, I'll be ploughed by a ferret. Yeah, yeah, Witcher Geralt of Rivia. Ah, you're a Witcher like any other. But those swords, things of beauty. Thank you. Nothing special about them. Ah, you're mistaken. Few know how to make a silver blade today. Fish eat me if I'm lying, and engraving runes is not exactly farting down a rain spout. I wouldn't mind a closer look at your swords. Care to browse through my wares? You can craft me something. But first, let's trade. Let me see what you got. So you're you're obviously someone who can make things and knows the quality of a weapon. My sword is actually very ruined. Yes, I did notice that. So that's not as good as the one I want making. Actually, is it? Because it might be a silver sword, the one that he's offering there. Yeah, it is. It's a silver sword. But I actually have one to make, and I don't have the required stuff for a second sword. Um, I could buy some off him, I suppose, but I'm not sure. We'll buy some silver ore as well, just so we have it, because this is hard to get. So I should buy as much of that as I can. Um, yeah. So what can you craft me, sir? Hello, I would... Craft me an item. So you can make armor, skin armor. Damn it. Can no one make these swords that I've like I've got the recipes for? But they're very high quality stuff, but why can no one make me Ah, here we go. I was missing it. So he can make me that, but he can't make me the silver sword, sadly. Alright. So I do have the equipment needed for this. This is a big upgrade. Look at that. It's a robust silver sword. It does a ridiculous amount of damage. Hell yes. Elves, they talk so Look at this. A robust silver sword. So, 12 to 18. 29 to 33. That's like three times the damage. So let's have a look at my silver sword. The silver sword, if you don't know, is the one on the right. I just got it out. There you go. It's a bit covered in blood. So, the one on the right is the one that you want to look at. And it's engraved, it looks fancy, we had a look at it before when we upgraded it. Now this one's on a different level. Okay, how different is this going to look? Oh, I can actually rune it as well, that's great, let's rune it first. So, um, runes, 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 runes. Where is it? It should be under crafting, alchemy, might be under crafting, runes, earth runes, here we go. Moon rune, earth rune, sun rune. So, 5% damage, extra vitality, damage bonus on signs. Um, we'll just go with a straight damage one. Get that on. Can I, I can't have two on, apparently. So, I'll go with a moon rune as well for extra damage on signs. So, there we go. It's fully upgraded now. Let's have a look at the difference. Ooh, look at that. It's very pointy. It's like a wolf... Is that a wolf head or a dragon head on the point? And the cross guard. Look how fancy that looks. Let's get it out. Let's have a look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The rune engravings on the sword. That looks great. And I have the rune engravings on my other sword as well from the previous upgrade. Just because I'm getting the weapon out, just relax. You know, I'm not threatening you or anything. Now, how much damage do I actually have on this? 18 to 24. Can you sell me one that's better? Alright, good, good. He, did, he said no, thank you. Trade, okay. 18 to 24. That's actually less minimum, but more maximum. That's 
obviously more entirely, just straight by flat. 17 to 25, 18, okay, yeah, that's better. All right, let's just buy the sword. We need more damage, that's great. And what we can do is we can sell my old swords to him and make the money back a little bit. So let's get this steel, steel sword going. All right, let's make the comparison. So the cross guard, the hill, it's wide, it's a strong sword. And then with a new upgrade. Oh, that's very fancy. That's very fancy, the hill. I like that a lot. And we do have some runes to engrave on it, so let's go ahead and do that. Not many, though, that's the problem. Sun rune and a moon rune, I guess. That's fine, those are good upgrades. We're a little bit low on the runes now, though. Oh, it can only have one on it. I'm glad I did the sun rune. Okay, sweet. And now I can sell him my old swords. Just like so. Perfect, make some money back. That was quite expensive, but it's worth it. And I've been sort of hoarding up gold in general for something like that. So I may as well spend it when I can. And I've still got over a grand of orange as it is now. So big upgrades there, really big upgrades. So I'm making my way up now to the war council. That's going to be my next sort of target. Um, so I need to sort of uh, get as high as I can, it would seem. So I've got to go the right way. It's quite like a convoluted town. Eyes like embers. Alright, so we come up here. There we go. It's, it looks like we're actually supposed to be in this castle. We were here earlier, funnily enough. And we're actually meant to go this way. Good. Not far now. Look at this. War room. You miss quite a scrap, gentlemen. And an opportunity to slay a monarch. There was a struggle and the prince was wounded. You've all seen the magical phenomenon covering the battlefield. For any who still have doubts, this is no mundane mist, nor a petty fairground illusion. Most likely, we're up against a blood curse, an old and powerful spell. We do not know who cast it or why. For now, I have one piece of good news and several pieces of bad news. The good news is that Henselt and his army have been halted for the time being. And the bad news? The mist will grow. It may even engulf Vergen. Furthermore, wraiths may emerge from it. Can they be made penitent? With an axe to the head? In theory, yes. But I would suggest putting your faith in a silver weapon. Furthermore, the ghosts will weaken as they move away from the mist. Is there any way to drive it off? Exorcise it? A question for myself and Geralt of Rivia. The Kingslayer? Contrary to what old women at the wells say, he did not, in fact, slay any kings. Of course he didn't. Wouldn't hurt a fly, that one. Look at his eyes. You'll see he's the sensitive kind. <laughs> I like that guy. See in his I like eyes, that guy a lot. Few know more about lifting curses. Gentlemen. I do not require you to understand this phenomenon, but there are a few rules I insist you must follow. Here we go. No one is to approach the mist. It is mortally dangerous. In addition, we need to learn the story of the battle. For this, I especially count on the aid of Mr. Cecil Burden. At your service, my lady. Thank you. To lift the curse, we require some objects symbolic of the war. Ones belonging to those who perished here three years past. Pfft. More scrap iron from that massacre lying about than lice in Cecil's beard. I thought curses were best handled with... Please leave the thinking to me, Mr. Zigrin. And I'd gladly hear less from you from now on. The objects must be magically active and strictly linked to the ghosts of the Fallen. That is all. Let me be clear. You're all to aid Philippa and the Witcher. What are you grumbling about now, Yarpen? Uh, <clears throat> it's something in my gullet. Take a swig of wine. Now, to worldly matters. How many are we? Saskia, you know well... How many? We dwarves are near 200. But don't judge us by our number. A half thousand peasants will come. Though you'll get no precise count. My lords? Fifty-three knights and another two hundred armed men. Not enough. Henselt leads 5,000. Five to one against us. What think you of that? We are few, they are many. But we have our walls, low though they be. 
If we had archers, who knows? We brought archers. Oh, for a regiment of heavy arbalists from Lyria. We have something better. Jorvith's elves. Scoyatel. They're the best archers. I made the right call. I brought... I saved them. By bringing the archers. That's what they needed. Gentlemen, I give you Jorvith. What do you seek here, murderer? A hundred of the North's best archers await your orders, Dragon Slayer. You wished for archers? Here they are. I take no pleasure in fraternizing with elves. But even a shit-coated stick can be a weapon. Wow. He burned out the villages of many in my horde. The free peasantry is one thing, but a criminal with a price on his head in all the northern realms? This is too much. Saskia, say the word and we'll depart. Hear me out. Jorvath came to fight for me. I trust him, and I know that he'll stay the course. Just like each of you. How could you know that? He's an elf. Treason runs in his veins. That's bullshit. He's been fighting humans for a century. But for the first time in scores of years, his fight makes sense. The Scoyatel know no peace. They've died for Nilfgaard, for the Valley of the Flowers, in vain. They've been betrayed and cheated. Now they have a new goal. The Pontar Valley could be the first state where no man would have to fear elven arrows when venturing beyond city walls. And elves and dwarves wouldn't live in ghettos or on reservations. First, however, we have a battle to win. You know who we're up against. It's a splendid army, brave and well-led. They cannot be scared off or routed. They have to be killed. I want Jorvath to sit at the same table as we do. I want him to kill Kadweni for us. And I assure you that he'll do so with a smile, if only you let him. If I'm to see a smile on that skinny face, I'm in. <laughs> Jorvath stays. <laughs> that dwarf's the fucking hell. best. Father's turning in his grave, but a must's a must. I say I. Nay. You killed my men, Elf. Remember them? If I hadn't killed them, they'd have killed me. All right. For the sake of better times, and for Kedwin's doom, I Down with the sons of bitches! Cheers! Oh, God, what is that? What did you just drink? Poison! She's dying. Take her somewhere safe and guard her with your lives. I'll gather what I need and join you soon. I'll place my best warriors on watch. Quickly, lads! A letter! Fuck. She ceased casting spells. Saskia, is she alive? In a manner of speaking, I've slowed her life functions as far as possible. Her condition is stable. Can you save her? What can we do? Treatment will require herbs, magic, and blood. Not ordinary blood, I presume. Correct. We require royal blood. We could use Letho right now. <laughs> nice joke, man. Nice joke. Or herbs. What kind of herbs are we talking about? I'll need a subterranean variety of purple foxglove, known to the dwarves as the Immortel, and an elven rose of remembrance. F fuck. Triss has one. Hmm. Triss had a rose of remembrance. She claimed the flowers are exceptional. Long ago, the En Shea, who succeeded in cultivating the roses, enjoyed great respect. Times have changed. As have elves. There are no elven gardens nearby. We must return to Flotsam. Triss has a Rose of Remembrance from Flotsam. It's her we need to find. Yeah, if we find her, we, we save her and we get the rose. Okay, where am I going to look for uh, the Immortellus? Where will we find Immortels? They grow deep beneath the earth which should not be a problem as Vergen lies on top of a mine. 
How will they help Saskia? Mage pain wreaks havoc in internal tissues. The Immortelle will help restore them. Okay, that's fine. And why do you need the blood? The nearest king is on the other side of the Mist of Wraiths. You misunderstood me. It need not be the blood of a ruling monarch. It is the genotype contained in royal blood that is required. Kings issue from ancient dynasties. Over the ages, to survive, rulers needed exceptional resistance and strength. As royal dynasties rarely admit common blood, the strength of their genes remains great. I shall employ self-healing genetic therapy that will teach Saskia's body how to rid itself of the poison. Oh, nice. You'll have a drink human blood. No, I shall inject it directly into her heart. Oh, God. All right, well, at least you can save her. Is there anything else you need? What else do you need to heal Saskia? Thormador is a self-perpetuating substance. Any incursion into a cluster of poisoned cells causes an immediate chain reaction. Each tainted cell that is removed is replaced by ten new tainted cells. To interrupt this reaction, I'll need an ungodly amount of the power. A water or air genie, or one of the twenty legendary rings of power would be best. <laughs> one to bring them all and in the darkness bind them. Right. And then I'll have to run barefooted to the top of a <laughs> volcano. All right, all right. Oh my god. Let's forget the rings. I need a vast quantity of the power. <laughs> I love the reference to no Lord of the Rings like it's just like, like an old story or something in their world. That's and so magic. good. Sounds like a fairy tale. A poor one at that. No prince's kiss to top things off. <laughs> I wish it were a fairy tale. I really like Yorbeth. I really one, do. As a happy ending would then be inevitable. May I count on your help, Geralt? You may. What about the Battle of Wraiths? I must first see I'm if sorry, the spells I can't go with the Lord of the Rings reference. That's brilliant. Then we'll consider how best to send the spectres to their rest. Actually, you could tend to that yourself. Ask the locals about the battle. Maybe you'll learn something. In that case, I shall search for the poisoner. All right, I trust you. I trust you to do that. I'm sure you'll find them. And I, I'll go get the hard stuff. Only Philippa Isleheart may enter. Okay. Well then, uh, we have a, a big task set out for us, that's for sure. Um, this is going to be tough. She's poisoned and dying and we're on a time limit. We need to save Triss, get the, the, the flower, and also go deep underground in the mines to get the other herb. Otherwise, she's got everything else we need, so we're not far away from it. But these are big, big things we need, and I expect they will be far from easy.